It's a tale as old as time. You order a watch with an acrylic crystal, and within the first five minutes, you scratch said acrylic crystal. It doesn't matter what you do. You could have breathed on it. You could have knocked it into a doorway. Or you could have done exactly what I did, which was scratch it within the first 10 seconds of owning it when you try and measure its thickness. I got myself a Vostok Commandeerski directly from Marinam. Literally, right after unwrapping it, I tried to measure it with my calipers and... <laughs> Never again. Of course, now I want to fix it, as I imagine you want to fix your crystal, so my first thought went to PolyWatch. Here it is, right here. This little tube was $6.99 on Amazon. It says it'll get most medium to light scratches out of your acrylic crystal, but I also had a comment on the channel saying, you don't need PolyWatch. I heard you can use toothpaste. So that's what this video is all about. I'm going to do a comparison. There are now many scratches on my Vostok Commandeerski, so we're going to treat one with PolyWatch, one with toothpaste, and compare the two to see which one you should use. Is it worth springing for the $7 poly watch on Amazon, or do you just need to reach into your medicine cabinet to fix your scratches? I will tell you, little spoiler alert, there is a clear winner, but it might be surprising how each one works. So let's go behind us to this other bench, start removing some scratches from this watch, and see exactly which one comes out on top. So here's the Commandeerski, a gorgeous watch with a gorgeous dome, but it's made out of acrylic crystal, so of course it's going to be a scratch magnet. I've linked the video already where I accidentally immediately scratched it up there when I was unboxing it, but it's picked up a large amount of scratches since then. If we can move the watch around and try and catch the light, so you see that one right there by the 8 o'clock. That's a pretty substantial one. We'll use the toothpaste on the 8 o'clock scratch, and then we'll use the poly watch for that 2 o'clock scratch there. So I heard that you do want to kind of mix it up before you use it, and the way you can do that is just by squeezing it a bunch to make sure everything is all mixed up inside. The next thing to do is to just put a little bit of it on the watch. And then it's a bunch of rubbing. Got my microfiber cloth. I'm gonna probably fast forward through a bunch of this. It's just circular rubbing, if you'll excuse me. I'll be right back. Well, that didn't take long to run through the poly watch. Let's try a little bit more. And they, they say to do a little bit of pressure, not too much, but I am pressing down with my forefinger as I give circular rubs. So that may have been a minute. I was not rubbing for a very long time. And let's try and find the scratch on the 1.30 and the 2 o'clock. I don't seem to be able to find it. We'll do a side-by-side. -side. But it looks like PolyWatch is that easy. Maybe a minute and a half I was rubbing. Again, slight pressure, circular movements with my finger. I'm describing how to buff out a scratch on a watch, I must reiterate. It looks like it worked. All right, $6.99 on Amazon, PolyWatch gets out acrylic crystal scratches. But what about toothpaste? What about if you don't want to spend $6 on Poly Watch and you want to give it a try? Well, we said we were going to do the 8 o'clock scratch. So hold on a second and let's do that. And allegedly, it's exactly the same as the Poly Watch. So we'll put a little bit of toothpaste on, then we're going to rub it in circular motions and hopefully get the scratches out. All right. Getting a little more toothpaste. So I couldn't have been rubbing for more than a minute. Let's kind of wipe off what we can wipe off. Now you still see some smudges, but I don't see the scratch anymore. It looks like that scratch 
is gone. Now, did I just completely scratch up this entire dial with the toothpaste to get rid of that one serious scratch? I don't think so. But I'm going to run this watch under some water and rub it down one more time. The thing that's weird is, on the 2 o'clock scratch that is no longer here, there isn't a lot of smudges around it. But here on the 8 o'clock where we use the toothpaste, no matter what, there seems to be these smudges, like you can see it all around the 7 and the 6, kind of. It's tough to pick up, but kind of like micro scratches. And I'm not sure if I did that while trying to buff out the 8 o'clock scratch. I guess the one way to figure it out would be to polywatch this entire watch crystal and see if those little smudges down by the 7 and the 6 disappear. So let's do that. Okay. So now when I move it around after completely poly watching, I feel like there's noticeably less smudges. Ooh, I hope that's just a fiber. It is. Definitely less smudges after using the polywatch, which leads me to believe that the toothpaste, while it did fix that pretty major scratch by the eight, kind of left behind a lot of micro scratches in its wake. So while it fixed the big problem, it kind of left some smaller problems behind while this polywatch, comment below if you can see a scratch that I haven't fixed. I'm trying to look both through the camera and just with the naked eye to find another scratch, I think we did a pretty good job. All right, back to the other camera. So it probably is no big surprise, but Polywatch does seem to be the clear winner. And I'm kind of glad it is. I mean, it says on the bottle, that's what it's supposed to do. But also, I never really believed in it until I used it. I always kind of thought it was a saying, like, ah, oh, just poly watch it, it'll be fine. But it really is fine. And I didn't even rub it for the recommended amount of time. I think it says, like, between three and four minutes on the bottle. I was doing 90 seconds, maybe. So also keeping that in mind, if I give it a few more minutes, I can only imagine how good these crystals will look. Also, it gives me more confidence moving forward because I love a domed crystal almost more than anything on a watch, and more often than not, those are acrylic crystals. So going forward, I know I will be able to poly watch those scratches out because it's not an if, it's a when you get them on these crystals. And also, I get to save my toothpaste for my mouth. So thanks so much again for joining me. Very exciting, almost 500 subscribers on this channel. I started it during this pandemic as just a way to kind of have a creative outlet and share my love for watches. So thank you so much for being with me thus far. If you haven't yet, a subscription really does help the channel. At least two new videos every week. Well, normally the holiday season has been a little bit crazy and the postal service here in the U.S. has had their hands full. So watches I was supposed to have in for review weeks ago are still in the far flung corners of the country. So when they get here, I can get back up to speed. Luckily, Amazon got the poly watch to me like that. So here's this video. Have a very safe and healthy new year. I'll talk to you in 2021. Take care.